Ooh, what is up guys and of course welcome to my team analysis versus Durham Dragons or Leo Dan of course six piece hacks and yeah this is actually the second time I'm recording this because I recorded this a few days ago and had an idea what I wanted to do and things changed since then because I was I had a more aggressive team in mind but I decided to actually go a more defensive route because I think I can take him on defensively and I really want to try something else, and this is my best way of doing that. Leo is one of those players that I do believe I can defensively check and offensively check for quite some time. If I have the right matchup, of course. So, like I said, this team is more defensively in bond. It's made to last a bit long because his team is very, very defensively capable of matching out my offensive. So, uh, I decided for a ladder. So... Quick run on here, he has of course Necrozma, Infernape, Shaman, Mimikyu, Jolteon, Seismito, Registeel, Sarark, and Pukumuku. So yeah, a lot of things going on here and clearly the things that stands out here is versus my team of course, is that I don't have necessarily anything good for Jolteon naturally. And Inferno can be really annoying and Necrozma can survive for a long time. So, a quick rundown here is basically that he's very, very weak to my Excadrill. So, I'm gonna run a Scarfed variant here, and it's Adamant Scarfed, just enough speed to beat, of course, is the um, um, Timur Jolteon. I think that is where it's at. So, basically, if you use another Scarfer, uh, such as Gordon Fun, which could be a likely Scarfer, then that's gonna be unfortunate. But that's really about it. Uh, Gardler in the Solstice version this time actually just speed enough to deal with, uh, if I remember correctly, um, I was trying to remember, a defensive Seismator I do believe, so like creeping that, uh, really nothing more to it. Uh, full of Moons is of course a Moon Blast, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball and Focus Blast, so it's rather mixed here and it's, it's, the reason for Solstice is because it can potentially take on Jolteon, now I have to watch out for its second ability being of course Quick Feet uh, but to some extent I do want to lock in of course um, Jolteon in this matchup and I do believe this is my best way of doing so um, Jolteon could be annoying for me like I stated so God War is one that fits the bar here Moltres was original in this team but got switched out due to that situation Blastoise, close to fully defensive uh, speed enough to beat of course Necrozma if it is a defensive variant and Blastoise's main perp here, perp purpose is to take on uh, Inferno with Inferno's Thunder Punch mainly, but also deal with Necrozma properly and do the extra defenses, making uh, Mimikyu not as threatening for me to deal with. So, nothing really big to it. We have Roar there to actually force a switch on a potential store power Necrozma, so it can't set up against me. Then, basically, Scarled and, um, and Dark Pulse. Very, very simple. And rapid spin just rapid spin needs that. It's, it's always nice. I was suggesting myself to wither carry, of course, or a sphere for Registeel, but I don't consider Registeel to be an um, imminent threat for my team. So, with that in mind, I'm actually deciding not to use it. Uh, then we have Jelly Send, which kiss it bear this time around. If it says Wakai Bear down below, and this was my original thought actually, but kiss it bear here is to be able to take a plus two Shadow Claw. Or a plus two, of course, of that C move, a ghost C move that is, I can't remember its name. Basically, Yellow Sand is here to um, be able to taunt uh, Seismitoad and Registeel to not be able to, of course, stall against it. And other than that, it's a very tough mount to kill, so the only thing here that scares me is Sorark. But um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be forced to deal with that, hopefully, that much with the DC team in mind. And then we have Roselia, it's a special defensive variant made to actually deal with Shaman and Jolteon. And it can take, of course, on his Mimikyu fairly well and Seismitoad. Uh, Registeel is the only one I do believe which walls this bomb, which is a bit unfortunate. And Inferno, of course, just one shots it. I don't think I can take a Flare Blitz from an Inferno whatsoever. Uh, it has Sludge Bomb Grass, uh, Grass, Giga Drain, um, Toxic Spice, and Synthesis. So, the main idea somewhere down the line is to be able to set up, of course, uh, Toxic Spike because Hitmonchan is his only spinner, so it's quite the goal for this kind of matchup. And the last Pokemon is Buzzwole, of course, and um, this time we'll actually have a more bulkier set. It's made to actually be able to set Substitutes against Registeel, be able to set up Substitute against Seismitoad, so, so Skull can't break its Substitute unless it is offensive. 
And other than that, it's special defensive makes sure that Nor Jolteon is actually not able to have the leech life to be able to KO it. And uh, yeah, Necrozmark shouldn't be able to deal with it or that well either, though. I was actually intending on having Sword Stance here, but Necrozma or uh, Necrozma, Boss Fool do not learn <laughs> Sword Stance. was really disappointed at that. Uh, I had a different set with Boss Wolf, which was actually Scarf variant. Decided not to use it here because I can defensively um, abuse this set really, really well against uh, Leo. Uh, because he has to have something that is um, able to set up rocks safely and also needs something to kind of wall out my Pokemon. Um, really well, and I do believe Seismitone and Shield does do that. Either of them are definitely going to make it for this battle. Uh, other team members I see for this battle he's going to bring against me is definitely Necrozma, Jolteon, Shaman. Um, it's Necrozma, Shaman, uh, Jolteon, Infernape, Mimikyu. Uh, very likely could bring Sora or Garcel also, but I do believe Seismitone and Shield, one of them will definitely make it, and it will just optimize for not bringing one of the other. Uh, if I have to take a wild guess, I'll say that he'll leave Inferno behind because of Blastoise or Necrozma. But uh, that's pretty much my guess. Uh, and uh, for my own team here, I really, really need to, need to set up Target Spikes early. If I do that, I'm very likely to win. And uh, <laughs> if I'm not, then it's going to be a tough time. But a few sets here are a bit nishy, but they are nishy for a good point. I definitely feel that I have to niche myself a little bit versus Leo. To be able to do well against him because he's definitely smart enough to offensively and defensively deal with me for a long time. So I really need to make a team that can do the same versus him. And I think this is the part though. Not as stated here, I'm not so comfortable playing defensively. But I'm going to try my very best. I definitely feel like Leo is the person to try to do that with. <laughs> I really hope that doesn't backfire. But like I said here. I feel I'm, I feel good enough to deal with him responsibly, and if anything, I feel like my builds here are smart enough to defensively take Leo on. I should be able to offensively check him uh, with this defensive team. That did not make any sense, but I, I think you guys know what I mean. I have offensive mods that are defensive. I do believe that's gonna spell trouble for Leo. So yeah, with that said, make sure to check out Leo's team analysis versus me. He does these a lot longer. I really don't want to waste your time where I need to. Uh, as I stated here, the sets I'm using are in the of course comment section down below, or the description down to the comment section. Uh, you know, whatever, guys, you get it. Anyway, I faced like Leo in uh, arguably four, four or five hours now, so I I'm a bit nervous. I should be nervous because, like I said here, um, I am kind of unsure about this team, but I really want it to work because if it works, then I'm, it's gonna give him help. And that's, you know, that's all I really need. I don't have to win, I just need to give, a, give him a hard time, and I'll be fine. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you, of course, as always, so much for watching. And, of course, make sure to check out the video that's going to be uploaded tomorrow, which is, of course, I do Friday. I was going to think that. It's Friday, yeah. Feels weird. I'm recording this on Wednesday. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure to check out the battle itself. So, with all that, guys, thank you, of course, as always, so much for watching. I do believe the second time I said that. Hey, no wrap-up. I'm, I'm terrible at this. Anyway, guys. Take care, right? <laughs> Bye.